Best chance in the series. They have to get off to a good start. Slow starts have plagued them throughout this tournament. Let's see if Cloud9 can kick things off with a bang. Well, Drops looking to do that, but Nafani takes him down as the smoke plumes in towards window. The first kill of this best of three going the way of Cloud9 and FaZe where they group up to be. Yeah, Axel sits out towards short, has got Buster alongside of him. The face are already through, and they will not get much further. Axel taking two with him. Rain and Carrigan not allowed to step inside of the site. Axel has turned up to this best of three right away. Three kills in the pistol round, and just Brokey. Sees a couple of victims towards short, but he will be the only one. Cloud9 pick up the first round. A chance for FaZe to break through on this B site. Axel's been called back. He's called! Oh. What a shot from Rops! Axel had the better weapon. Now Buster has to do it with a little gun. It's one on terrain, but the body shots of Rops come through. Shira once again keeps the numbers favorable to Cloud9, oh. but Brokey still gets away with it, but his teammate is gone. And it's all on Brokey to recover this one. And Brokey sees the time ticking. Hasn't seen any Cloud9 players yet because that's the play for Hobbit. Around the back with the M4A4, locks in the headshot, and the second round for Cloud9. Wow, they just gave him nothing. Hobbit hides behind triples. Flash will connect from mid, and he is overrun. Carrigan with one, and Nafani battling back. The Incan leaders go blow for blow, but Nafani's getting much more now. The plan starts to come in. It's locked through, but look at Axel, undetected, in the sight, executes on Carrigan. And drops underneath the wood. Axel still in a powerful position. Rob's having to deal with him, and Axel doesn't care. Shows why he's called one of the best rifles in the world. And Brokey left now in the one versus two. Smoked away, blasted with HEs, and covered off in the connector smoke. Smart decision for Axel to use the cover on the other side of the defuse. And Brokey cannot spam through accurately enough. And that's the 5-0 start for Cloud9, and Axel really is here to play. He doesn't really want to fully rotate away, and he thinks this is the B play, because they haven't really heard anything on this A site. They haven't gathered a whole lot of info. And Twist is in con. The bomb could come back with that kill on Twist. Absolutely it should. And Carrigan finds the head of Hobbit in the jungle. And the bomb is quickly making its way back over to this A site. Akhtar getting peppered by Rops as well. He's stuck between a rock and a hard place. Or should I say a rocks and a hard place? And Rops is the one that takes him down. Shiro and Buster, they can't even give this a look in, really. Here on through. Buster is still in CT. Yeah, it's funny because FaZe were going for a lot of more contact-heavy plays earlier in this half. Three remaining players, and is that trifecta of death? The deadly trio of Twist, Brokey, and Rops trying to make this one happen. And Twist runs out of the ramp smoke and right into Shiro. Shiro up on the ticket in an exposed position, but a bit faster than Twist on the fight there. Still have to get past Hobbit here. This is rotated. Robs has found it. And now they're coming out of Palace too, right? Brokey's coming out with the AWP. Robs with him. And suddenly FaZe find themselves a chance again. Brokey scoped up in the right spot right now. How long will he hold it against Shiro? It is creeping closer into the peak. Brokey's AWP strikes harder. And it's the head of Shiro no longer attached. And Rops is holding that second CT player. And Rops will stand tall. Just Axel left. Kicked off the round. Now trying to close it. And realizes that's unlikely. Backs away. AWP in hand. Never get the ability to work together in the way they would want. And that was such a strong start for Cloud9. The opening moves were brilliant for them. But that kill opens up everything. And then you see solo fights coming in. The flash from Axar was a little too late. He tucks in towards Ninja, has that support in the crossfire, but smokes to be blazing through very shortly. Pounding in with bullets at the moment, but not committing quite yet. Defense of smoke point four, but Carrigan finds the opening kill. Hobbit though, not checked, comes out for two. Is traded by Rops, and that's given them the avenue. Yeah, great work from Hobbit. Fully committed in the site, you have to fight at that point. And that's exactly what he does. Sets up Shiro. Second shot, not too far off. Oh, Shiro! No scope on a Carrigan. And now just Brokey. In a one versus three, smoke is up in his face. And he starts to draw one back. Buster forced away. Is there more for Brokey? Shots was past him. Brokey with a chance, but Shiro saves Cloud9 in the 1v1. Oh man, it's Shiro who steps up, sets it up. 
This is absurd that he gets this one in the first place. And then finally able to close it out with this final shot. Not easy when Brokey tries to cross back, but he hits him through the box. And Shiro is just hoping he can catch someone on this connector cross into the site. The smoke goes up, he does not take a shot. And Nathan, he's sitting back at CT, hearing everything happen in the site, but is absolutely helpless until this point. Shiro and Axel have won two fights. The board plan's denied. Nathan, he gets around the corner. And he's done so much. Might just be enough. Buster's still here. That bomb collected time. Such a concern now. Robs is going for the plan. Has he to go in the dead. open. Buster swings, denies. The Carrigan now. Well, he might be able to find a few, but Shiro takes him down. Wow, what a, what a play from Nafni. The discipline to stay towards CT. He's hearing all the movement in the A site. Here's the commitment to the plant. He's had a great start to this game as well. 15 and 4. He's, he's got a gap as well yeah. to play with in the smoke. This could be devastating for FaZe. They see the gap now, surely. And Axel peeks out first. Good reply from Rain and Shiro. He falls to Brokey. Important kills for FaZe in middle. And a 3v4 established FaZe. The better on it. They have to make the call here. And they've decided B is the location. Buster repositioning. Defensive smoke can be deployed. So powerful. Look but look Rain. at Rain. He's already in the back line. Hobbit doesn't get a chance. Buster's still in the corner, but can't do anything. Rain bleeds down two. And Nafani is now in the one versus three. No real way to get into this. They have him locked on in. They know exactly where he was, and he has to just leave. Yeah, great round from Rain now. Coming through, saves the day. It looked like the rotation comes over. Nafani holds jungle. I can't believe that doesn't spread. Oh, Shiro, though, just holding the line, finds another opener for free. Nafani now holding the extension out of connector, but they're trying to shift that bomb up towards short, in towards this B site. Twist will start to play forward. What a shot! Twist just accelerates right into the fight, and Brokey captures Buster, but there's still a player in the apartments, and Axel, he has been so incredible, and here he goes again! Axel gets only one! What a turn from Rops! And he wants to clutch this one versus three alone. Puts the bomb down. Shiro gets aggressive. He puts it into the one versus one fight for Rops. And he is quicker on the trigger with the AWP. And Buster's at bench. Axel needs to start coming back soon. Buster's going to get that info and call on over. First kill on Rain. Reply that is there from Rops. He's going to get it into the three versus three. Bomb plant goes down. Axel has rotated now in. On top of the bin, he'll dip down and catch his twist looking the wrong way. Axel has just been unbelievable so far alongside Shiro. And now it's just Brokey stuck up in the apartments. He'll descend down into the side trying to change up his position, but none of the shots connecting. It is the weapons of mass destruction for Cloud9 that are pushing them forward to an 11-4 half on Mirage. What a great start to this affair they've got. And here's the play for Cloud9 straight towards A in this pistol. Yeah, it's often Cloud9 CT side that carries them through. Can they keep it up on the T side though? It looks like it. That is an immediate entry from Hobbit and complete access to the A ball oh, side. Gap for Brokey. And he'll happily take a kill on Axel. Important play to remove here. As we now enter the four versus four retake for FaZe. And Buster will sit at the ninja boxes at the firebox. And he's got his teammate out towards Tetris. Nafani gets swung on twist with a lightning fast headshot. And he wants another one, but not this time. He will not connect on Buster, who desperately dances around to try and stop the defuse. But it's Hobbit's job. They will do exactly that. And they're not on it. They have no time. And Hobbit has won the pistol here for Cloud9, denying the defuse and denying FaZe another round. 12 to 4. This is looking clean from Cloud9. Not an uncommon position, and Rops certainly will be considering it when the smoke fades, but they might be looking for him as well, and Hobbit finds him first. Brokey at least gets one back, and that was very good damage onto Hobbit. Look at the bomb. Look where it's coming out of ramp now. Rain is towards CT, just playing Ooh. in front of that, but Nafani's found the gap as he pushes through the murder hole. Carrigan comes around. Nafani turns back in time, and another crucial kill in the round. Going Cloud9's way, 30 seconds, Brokey peeks out a connector, realizes they need to make a move, but it's all gonna come down to Rain in this round. It's all gonna come down to him in the site. Brokey's making moves, now Rain activates, the twist comes in, it's starting to look good for FaZe, they flip it back, and a great recovery. I thought it was all gonna be Rain, but then Brokey makes the move, twist comes in, and FaZe finally come together. Carrigan's just trying to stay elusive. Does not want to be detected. Doesn't want to offer up a kill here to Cloud9 as the attack into B. 
But his rifle now stands in the middle of the site, overexposed. Hobbit with the headshot, Brokey caught, looking at too many angles. And it's now recovered for Cloud9. They're into the site, and FaZe have no shot. They are so far away from this. Scared of Van, scared of all these awkward angles. Brokey has no opportunity. He's looking in all different directions. And for Cloud9, 14 found. Pushes up slowly, finds that kill. Oh, they slip out on rain. They catch him with a flash, and they converge to the ramp. Twists now has to deliver from the stairway, and he's only got a FAMAS to do it. No help from his team. Twist has to do it alone, and he's begun that trek. He's found himself the first, but not the second. A lot of damage dished out, but not enough for the kill. It is going to keep FaZe ahead in the final 25 seconds. Buster drops out of Palace. Shiro is going all the way around. 20 seconds has to go back through Palace. A nice boost up from Brokey. Catches Buster on default. Shiro now really can't win this round. And again, FaZe with an opportunity to try and cause those economic woes here. Rops wins that first fight on mid. Well, yet again. And Hobbit looking to snap back, but Rops says no. Swings on out. Rops with two already. His teammate falls, but the Cold Stone Estonian has found himself another one out mid. Hasn't really had to show too much from it. But maybe now he'll get that chance. Peeps out, double dink, nice and clean for Rain on two. Seventh round for FaZe. He doesn't feel like he's able to commit just yet. And this leaves 18 seconds left in Twists and Carrigan in the B side. Carrigan has to dish out first, which is exactly what he does, but it's just one. And Brokey has now rotated it in, but Twist gets checked. And Brokey makes up for it. A second kill coming in from Brokey. Laser like shot coming in from Brokey. And he blasts them forward, stops the time, and FaZe have another round. Brokey not able to land a shot. Axel, the man to move up mid early this time. Yeah, he's, he's gone real quick with the DE. Oh, oh. It's not ready. Rob's able to help out, but this is not good from FaZe. This is not a good start to the round at all. They are now in a really uncomfortable position, giving Cloud9 the best opportunity oh, here. No, and he what? slips underneath. Rob's hasn't seen him. Shiro gets into the connector, completely unevaded, and he will absolutely try to use this to great effect, but he hasn't seen Rob's either. Surely they spot Shiro at some point, but they've just left Connector. They're completely starved of information here, FaZe. Carrigan starts to go back to B just at the right time. He sees Cloud9 trying to enter the site, but he's not in it. He's not in the site itself. He tries to use the smoke as some cover, and he goes now into that fight. Carrigan tries to stop it, but look at Shiro! He's coming around the back, and broke. he's punished! Nafani hits onto Carrigan as well, and it's all on Rops to try and pull this one back. Coming up from the underpass, Buster assassinated, but they now know exactly where Rops is coming from. And he is caught by Shiro. What a round. Shiro gets in connector, and he ends up being the player that unravels the whole round. With the utility, 24 seconds. What's the Cloud, Nine, Cloud Nine not leaving themselves with a lot of time, and the bomb is in middle on the back of Shiro. And they're running in towards A. Brokey. The bomb? Easily connects, but the bomb is in middle, and Carrigan's got the kill. That'll be the round. Thank you very much. They run to try and chase it back, but there's, it's no hope. Absolutely no hope in this round for Cloud9. FaZe will take a tenth up to double figures, and Cloud9 lose track of the time. They do not get the bomb into a competitive position. And FaZe will take that. Rangers clear ramp. Now Twist will start to come back. Will he, will he get there in time? Doesn't look like it. Axel out the window. And oh, the missed shot from Shiro. Somehow Twists is given that chance, and that's, that's the bomb. bomb. Once again, the time will cost them. Shiro leaves the bomb in the apartments. They don't have enough time to get it back. A missed shot from Shiro. You don't see that every day. And Twists will absolutely love that opportunity. FaZe given another. Cloud9 get themselves into a really good spot. It looked like they're about to come crashing down on Carrigan. Looks like Buster might have got a whiff of things as well. Now it's down to this B play being successful. Buster has lost that fight. This now makes Cloud9 feel super uncomfortable. It puts a timer on the play and funnels them into B. Carrigan sets himself up with a smoke, but he's receiving damage through it. Luckily, he's got Brokey nearby. And Hobbit is no match for that AWP. Carrigan sticks around, goes back to the same position. This time to success in Carrigan. A second kill for him. And Brokey sends the shot down short to confirm another round for FaZe. Cloud9 starting to fall apart now on Mirage. He'll watch towards Palace. He needs laser focus. 
He sees the hand, and that's exactly what will happen. Brokey sends the shot through. Twist right to the smoke. That's the ball. Losing players, and 25 seconds. Ball not down. Shiro doesn't make the difference in time. And Axel, you asked where he was. Well, here he is now, in middle, trying to stop this one from going to overtime. Hobbit recollects the bomb, but can he recollect Cloud9 senses? He cannot, and the time is ticking. Axel needs to immediately plant, and he is not going to be allowed to do that. Time is running out. It's down to the fights, and it's not going to happen. Let's take this show to overtime. Six in a row to force it here. Phase with the major on the line. Cloud9 in the driver's seat to take this map. But FaZe are unrelenting, everybody's stepping up, forcing us all the way to overtime. It felt like you were foreshadowing earlier, Dinko. You said it, Cloud9 can collapse on their T side. And this is the phase we got used to seeing when they were on top of the world of Counter-Strike. But this time, a different setup for FaZe, right? They're not in the extremities. They can stand and fight, and Rain is committed towards Wood. A missed shot from Brokey. You haven't seen many of those in this second half on the CT side. Rain from the Underwood out. gets forced into the fights, and he'll cross. He'll go to the sandwich instead. And Brokey's rotation is successful. No nade this should it. take it down. And Brokey's gonna get a perfect chance, but a missed shot. Carrigan won't miss his opportunity though. The all comes in, lines up what? a second, but the damage isn't done. The plant is coming in, the time's limited, and denial again. Cloud9 run out of time, and FaZe pick up the round once more, this time in overtime. Rain's repositioning, checking the clear. The flash is good, he's gonna come up through, spots out Buster, and he's dropped with nothing in return. So much space now, so much information for FaZe. Nafani starts to accelerate, but a smoke in his face. This has cut off one of the prongs to the approach, right? The short play not getting through. Axel trying to make something happen, but Carrigan has just dominated the apartments yet again. That boost was so slow. It was so slow. Once more from Cloud9, they're fumbling these T-rounds. A team that is usually so well put together. And it's all going the other way. FaZe just smacking them at the moment. Shiro is a shadow of his first half self. Oh. The whole team feels like a shadow. Perhaps. Maybe a, a spectre. Shadow boxing for Shiro. He'll hop up into the window. Can he get to A? 23 seconds left. Brokey, perfect angle. Realizes the only pathway, the only option he had was to go back through jungle. They are going to be wrapped in from both angles. Brokey Ooh. swings on through. What a shot from Hobbit. Yeah. Gets the opener. Nafani looking to get another. Rops under so much pressure. Moving around, trying to find a way to take these fights, but it's Swiss that finds it. Rops goes in onto Axel, but Axel comes out ahead. A one player advantage here for Cloud9. Axel sends a Molotov in towards short. Shiro to clear out window, but Hobbit senses a gap. He senses a weakness on this B site. Perhaps it is the low HP of Twist that could fall, and Carrigan's deep commitment towards short, but Twist has come back at the right time. And Hobbit wasn't ready, looking the complete wrong direction. Twist is offered up an easy kill. 48 seconds left. Carrigan's at short. He's ready for them to walk back into the connector. And he's looked away. He was ready, but no longer. Instead, passes that torch on over to Rain, and he will pass. No issues for Rain. Axel can't get Ooh. forward. Rain with a second as he defends connector, and Buster just edges out onto this A site. Everything for Cloud9 to do. And Buster has not had the game for it. Not stepping up enough, and it's going to be FaZe reaching map point on Mirage. After such a dominant first half showing from Cloud9, they disappear in the second half. They're fighting on the back foot. They have to come back onto their CT side. I mean, this is where they were strong, but that was so long ago. Feels like a different game now. Twist, he's just accelerating. You can see FaZe playing with confidence, playing with the momentum that they've got. Shiro, just a no-scope from the window. A single kill for Shiro as he looks on to the three remaining screens. It's Nafani, Buster, and Hobbit crush them on this A site. The emotions of Cloud9 will shatter, their hearts will start to break, and Hobbit cannot afford to. He holds the site, they know exactly where he is. Limited ammo, collects just one, forces the reload out, and Robs gives no mercy, chases him down. Phase now into the site. It's just Nafani and Buster in this two versus three. That nib does a lot of damage onto Carrigan, and the second one takes him out of the round. Nafani saw him? Nafani has seen him out towards CT. Buster 
creeping ever closer to the site. Rops, he's got to get the right timing to look the right way. He hasn't seized the opportunity, but Brokey absolutely will. And FaZe will come back, no matter the start, no matter the scoreline that they're down, FaZe will deal the blow. Cloud9 up against the ropes. That has got to hurt. That's where they get to start here as FaZe bust up Banana. Well, Twist is going to be leading the charge, and they are just all guns blazing. Five of them coming straight on into the hit. That boost up on both sides is going to be potent. Shiro with the dual Berettas gets firing, but only got the one. Naphne on the boost gets one, and Buster able to find a double. Everything falling apart here. Buster runs out of bullets. The bomb gets planted. Criminal from Rain, and now a chance to clear Buster, who's stuck in the back of the side, dancing around the pillar, but he stands tall. Yeah, great recovery to the round there for Cloud9. And starts to edge around the half wall. Naphne at the ready. MP9 gets caught. And that's the cut open on the B side. Shiro lets the blood flow, though. The FAMAS goes forward, just one. And oh, I nearly gets to stay alive a little bit too long there to pull off the reload. But eventually, FaZe will follow up with a second kill into this B site. Smoke out CT. And Cloud9 on the rotate back in, setting up for the retake. Kid on Axile, and everyone has arrived. Brokey in a good position here. In fact, even a boost looking like it was considered, but no, Hobbit just going to phase that smoke. Looking for the gap here. Brokey so close in towards pool. Edges on Ford. Cloud9 are taking their time with this, and another smoke comes on down. That's going to force them all through this choke. Jumping on over. Oh. Axile hits that. Rops with a very fast trade with the Tech 9, though. Now the time has ticked on down. They have to get on this boss. Oh, Spam coming on through. Rops, he can't connect. He's no trying way. through the MP9. Can't do it. And they ninja defuse the bomb. That's insane. Cloud9, the only way back in. They stick the defuse inside of the smoke. Feel like they had any way in once that CT smoke came down. Look at the aggression, though. Hold it down second mid straight away. Hits the headshot. And he spots that second man. Well, this aggression hasn't really paid off for Cloud9. They've come down a player, Look and the Kerrigan. B site has fallen. Carrigan has just sprinted up through Banana, taking this B site. And Cloud9 having to figure out what is available to them. What does this oh, round look dude. like? And the fight in Banana goes the way of Twist. Buster right down through the smoke, catches the bomb. Still could get a little bit hairy here for FaZe, but the bomb is collected and sent back up towards B. They get out of that awkward scenario. And now Hobbit is the next player in for Cloud9 for the speed white. Carrigan has spotted him. Luckily around the corner, he's got some cover here to plant the bomb. Otherwise, Hobbit could have denied it all. Twist was low and Hobbit finishes him off, sets himself up for the two versus two as both remaining CTs come in from spawn. Taking that time. Hobbit moving in first, but Rops on this angle. Will with oh, both! Yeah. Instant transfer! That is unreal from Rops. I could barely even react to that. In towards CT. Naphne's calling that they're taking quite a bit of damage from the fire. 30 seconds here for FaZe. This is not the kind of commitment forward they were hoping to get, but they go again. Here comes the double dip. Naphne still undetected inside of the CT boost. They'll hold this position and get nothing from it. FaZe do very well to get him out of there. And now they're into the site. FaZe will be disappointed they lost Rain, but maybe Twist can step up for that. I'm surprised FaZe were able to make their way into that site. They lose the first kill. It's a really nice defensive setup from Cloud9, and there was just no utility from FaZe. Shiro with the AWP, though, starts to edge on Ford. Gonna get up onto the angle, out in the open, hits the timing shot, the Carrigan. Yeah, good shot from Shiro, heads into the back of the site. The new boxes where so many Oppers can deliver, but Shiro is a little different. It's two for him towards the site. Often could have expected more, but he needed Ooh. more. And now that push forward from Proki. Why has he done that? He's completely offered himself up, and Cloud9 will have another weapon to play with. And now a better shot at picking this round up. It's a four versus two. Twist over the top of the smoke. Gets on the kill on the buster. And with a twist and a turn, it's Russell Van Dalken that steps up in the moment. Just Axel now left. Twist wants one more to collect all five. And Axel has got to be shaking coming back into this one. It's the big game player with the big game rounds. Twist yet again with all five. Well, let's not jinx it. Let's not. Let's hope it's a completely different story now. Phase five in a row, and Shiro with yeah, the AWP from the library. What? Twist is feeling it. Twist is stepping up. 
but eventually gets caught by Buster. But FaZe are continuing this attack. Axel's in the pit. You mentioned him being one of the best pit players on the planet, and he's starting to show why. Two on Carrigan and Rain. And he might get more quick switches, and that cost him his life. Rob turns on a dime, gets a second in the sight, and FaZe once again battled back to a competitive spot. Even though Cloud9 get a double on the initial hold, Rops is so close to Naphany, the Cloud9 in-game leader inside of the smoke. A box just separates them. A few inches from death on either side. And Brokey is just staying composed, but Naphany makes the jump up. So it is all on Brokey. But Brokey's taking his time, and that gives him a 1v1 chance inside of this site. And Brokey knows if he can find one in here, that's gonna be the round back on. And he will immediately connect on to Naphany. And Brokey could deliver them a crucial clutch. He's wrapped to the apartments. His elevated position. He looks down onto his lowly surf and he calls that bluff on Hobbit and the shot to complete it. Brokey is an animal. The composure, the patience that Brokey is showing, and the reaction from Cloud9 says it all. Buster deploys some temporary cover because he knows they're about to be crunched on, they're about to be split from two sides. And this is an easy 10 seconds for FaZe though, if they can hold long enough, but what a shot. Brokey breaks through the clouds, and the A site is set up for FaZe. Plank goes in, Cloud9 with no other option to try and save what they can, but they might not even be given that mercy. Rain is close to Hobbit, and he does lose out that fight. So at least a small chance here for Hobbit to slip away, but Brokey's not stopped. He's continued to move forward, even with the big green gun on his back. But some of the previous rounds were much more individual focused. This feels like FaZe in control of this round and of the rotations. They make Cloud9 panic at the last possible second. And that's the shot. shot, the gun Ooh. barrel spotted. It's so he sick from his the perspective. Face. Because it's so sick seeing it from his perspective because through this archway. Rops on the other side presents an opportunity, but the Deagle does not sing true. Carrigan just starts to force on through short. And now they're just crunching onto the side. The rifle spamming on down. Shiro, what a shot. Naphne finds one too, and Shiro what? still standing. Unbelievable. What? Oh that is incredible, Shiro. From the site, he had absolutely no right to get anything out of that. And suddenly he explodes. And FaZe might implode, but Rain is looking to recover this round. The bomb planted, nerves can be settled, and who else but Rain, the coolest player, but it's not gonna happen. Naphany sends the bullets in. That is such a shock to the system of FaZe. That's the first. What does he see? Oh! Incredible that he gets that That's final a shot shot. Off. Yeah. That is yeah, down, dumbfounding that Shiro is able to find a way to do that. Ooh. That spam's good. Forces Buster off. Can't afford to stay up high now. They know and Rain swings on through. Over the hay bales and into the head of Buster. Looking for more as well. Charges into the site, but Axile, he stood strong for two. Anchoring this pit like a monster, but Carrigan eventually flushes him out. A two versus two now as they make their way onto the site. Well done from Axel to keep Cloud9 competitive in this one. Brokey covers off short. Carrigan now needs to get his gun ready because Naphany charges in from long. And Carrigan was so ready for that to make anything happen here. And he's not really moving forward, taking too much time. Shiro extends out. It's a great shot on Carrigan, but when it's not enough for the kill. Yeah. Hobbit, he's walking on forward. A back spotted. About to swing my missed shot. Carrigan survives and Buster finds Rops. Yeah, trades it out Go to back. even numbers again, but there's still 55 seconds left and Naphany wants to fight middle. They go into a blow for blow fight. Two players stay up, but barely alive. The health low on two, but it's a 3v3 and FaZe are sending that bomb back up. Carrigan is here ahead of the pack and Cloud9's rotation's in. There's more utility here. Rain has more utility that could slow this retake, but Hobbit doesn't try to deny. He'll wait for the frag. Yeah, and just crosses into the open. Brokey is now broken apart. But Carrigan, he's still standing from the same spot and he's the player with health here. Rain is not the one you want in the late round here with the health. But he'll send the utility in. 
They now know exactly where he is. Oh. And Buster burns away. And now it's down to just a one versus one. Two players that engaged in damage earlier in middle. Now it comes down to the final tap and Rain does not fall for it the first time around. There's no stick, there's no time. Reigns won it from just hiding around the corner. An extra salt to the wound, he peeks on through. Would have put Cloud9 in a solid spot, but look at this from Rain. he gets into the cubby. Buster isn't checking it. The tip around the corner is enough for Rain. that's enough of a warning sign. But the play is in to B, and Twist once again at the front of the charge. Running in, clears out Nafanin. He is going to be methodical. Surely they're going to check. Shiro! Oh, oh, oh. Brokey over the top. Shiro stood no chance in dealing with the speed of Brokey. You, you don't want to? It is going to slip into the back of your mind. They've just had a, a traumatizing few days of the amount of... <laughs> Brokey from the top rope. But I mean, really, that round was just fantastic calling from Carrigan. Just the way they're able to find that fight on a Hobbit. And Face might go faster here. Carrigan at the front this time around. Is it going to be success on the B entry? The answer is no for Carrigan. But eventually, Nafany should be overwhelmed. He should be, but he's not been just yet. Nafany has done a lot, and he goes to the new box, and his team are stepping up now when most needed. And this is going to be a fourth round for Cloud9, most likely. Maybe Rops is going to take us that. Oof. Spots out Shiro. Now they realize the commitment's coming in. And what a way to close on your fourth round. Cloud9 need a comeback similar to that that they suffered on Mirage. We're going to take a break. This second half continues. This is great timing. This, this is spot fantastic them, for Ross, but he doesn't get around just in time. And Brokey is getting ready for this. Ready and steady. Brokey's USP gets absolutely wrecked. What a shot from Shiro. Now they barrel back into Rops, who's now been spotted. Cloud9 have that info. And they want to apply pressure in towards this A site. Rain is still over here. Rain is still in defense. And he is looking for another headshot as he runs towards Long. Nafany fights back, but an important kill from Carrigan as Shiro, the talisman, gone. It's just Nafany left. He has got the bomb on his back. If he is to kill Carrigan, it would be a 1v1 and an open sight towards B. And he needs this block kill, and Nafany's got it. Now it opens up the clutch. Bit of util as well, a smoke and a flash. Rops has no kit. Nafany's going to get that bomb down, and that, that smoke, he can go anywhere. Rops comes back in, a smoke still available to use, but the time will begin to tick. Nafany in a very common position, needs to be accurate, and Rops jumps around the corner. USP to the kill, and Nafany will shatter as he's so close. Carrigan playing close. Rain behind him. Axile has that AK in play. Shiro will fall, but that is the AK activated from Axile. And will he use it to devastating effect? Towards the side, it's Rain's swing out that is perfectly accurate. He goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with Axel's rifle prowess. Ticking on down now, Nafany and Buster taking so much time clearing out long. By the time they get to sight, look at Rops' position. He can seconds. undo everything. He positions out in the open and he goes down. Twist has to do it again. MP9 out, gets the first. Buster trades and now it's into the clutch. Well, just enough time to lock that plant in. But Buster, has he got the chops? Can he pull off this one versus two up against Rain and Brokey? Brokey comes back through from middle. Rain will pull the initial attention and Buster thinks that's to pull attention away from short. So he's looking there instead. He would be right to assume that Brokey is coming from this side. Now they're doubling up. Brokey's a little bit too far ahead though. And he knows that Rain is there too. Steps him in. Buster steps up. The new guy for Cloud9, the most recent addition, but the most important rounds are coming through. It could be an absolute calamity here for Cloud9. They go forward into the top mid setup. It's Rops as Deagle the strikes on out, and another one. Twist chimes in, and the pistols are finding everything for FaZe. Cloud9 fading away, and Shiro is running back down Banana. He still sees a chance to get his team back into this round. He has to know that Rain's gone towards the ruins. Shiro locks in the bomb plant. What a clutch this would be for Cloud9 to save them against these weaker guns, but Twist is around the back, and he's got an AK. They'll lock it in for FaZe. That is the risk you run when you go up against the Deagles, when you walk into the Deagle stack, Try and get in and around these smokes. A flash being set up to allow Carrigan just to charge into the pit. 
Oh, that's actually hit a player, so they have to know they're charging forward now, and Karakin goes swinging through the smoke. It's not enough done from this B-hold. Rain just gets one, Karakin gets none. And Twists caught in the open. That has to be the save call. Cloud9 find their way through to the B site. Yeah, the round win comes through, but they're still going to be limping into the follow-ups. Robs gets one, and a second. Collecting on these players. Buster will at least get this AK, but he's not going to be able to hold on to it. The bomb should take him down if Brokey doesn't. Oh, wow, just about avoids it. Full buyback out right when they have all the bells and whistles again. That'll be the true test for Cloud9 to see if this comeback is actually on. But they have slipped up to Deagles already, and Brokey's kicked things off with another. Going to get himself an AK as well. Edging on Ford, picks that one up. Rifle Nafini. in his hands. Nafini's <laughs> trying to get it, but it's already been stolen. Yeah, Nafini's trying to get it back, but it's already gone. And 30 seconds left as Cloud9 start to shift their attentions back over to B, where currently it is Twist with an MP9 and Carrigan with just a P250. We've also got another player right above Twist's head. The stack is at the ready, and Twist, okay, the MP9, the little gun, but it's rapid to kills. Axel and Shiro oh. full foul to it, oh. and Twist yet again. How has he done that? How have Cloud9 let that go? Shiro appearing on Ford. Oh, the timing shot onto Carrigan as the flash came through is perfect. Now Nafani, he starts to extend. Rain is up on there and Rain is hitting shots. Nafani fell, falls on back, but Twist is still here on the boost. Delivers another, keeping them at bay, delivering the bomb, and it has to be Shiro. Steps up again, a boost coming on forward in front of his eyes, and he is shielded from them, but Shiro, another one. Brokey responds in kind, and we're in the 2v2, but it's only Brokey on the site. Such an important round here for the fate of Cloud9 in this year. Shiro hits an unbelievable shot on the flick up. Brokey decides he wants the AK instead. Goes to the right ball, nearly denies, but Robs comes in. The MP9 sound will be in the nightmares of Cloud9 tonight. Back to back rounds closed out by a multi kill from the SMG. Phase are looking like they're going to close this. They're going to break the hearts of Cloud9. Well, oh, Robs gets just the right timing. The bomb goes tumbling into CT with that fight there. It makes it chaotic and it gives time for Rops to arrive on the flank. They know how close they are. They can feel it. And so can Cloud9. You can see that's incentivized Axile to creep on up closer, wanting to take this fight. Two players though on the other side and Carrigan wins the duel this time. And he's charging on down, looking for more, spraying on through. Good damage done, but it does cost him his life. No more rounds in Counter-Strike are this tense. He will struggle to find a moment. They're going to take info and eventually rotate. You can see, not spotting anything in towards top mid. Robs and Brokey make their way back. The final 20 seconds looms now. Cloud9, this is do or die. Rain drops back behind the smoke, the rotation, and the flank's even coming in! But Rops, he shatters their hearts! Fizz are heading to Paris! And for Cloud9, they leave with absolutely nothing on the path to Paris other than misery. So devastating, but FaZe make it work. The last chance qualifier, they completely reset their mindset. And everything just felt so much better for them. You can see the mood in the team just so much better.